Well, what do we have here? Hey everybody, I'm Beeps Kelly, and I, like the rest of you, saw this staged pap shot the other day and had to make a video about it. It is Friday, so that means we're talking fashion today. This PR pivot to affordable equals relatable is kind of see-through, and I still don't think it will be enough to overcome their very off-putting personalities and reputations. I just don't think it'll be enough because it is so see-through. I thought salt and pepper always stick together, right, Megan? Why is there no hand-holding happening here? This is the exact problem with setting a standard and talking about it so much and publicizing so much that you are constantly gonna hold hands all of the time, the best love story ever told, stuff like that. That is the problem with it because then in the absence of hand-holding, it's very noticeable, it's magnified. People are like, whoa, why aren't they? What's going on? Or think that's more evidence of trouble in paradise. And so compared to more normal couples who perhaps hold hands only at times that it makes sense or just less dramatic, they don't talk about it, they just do what feels right in the moment and they don't hold hands or smother each other with PDA at times that it's not appropriate, those more like normal types of dynamics are smarter when it comes to a PR perspective because then sometimes you're gonna see these people holding hands, sometimes you're not. But Meghan Markle and Prince Harry set up this expectation that they were going to be always holding hands even when it didn't make sense, even when it wasn't professional, even if it looked bad, even if it was rude. They were gonna always be holding hands and then publicized this salt and pepper are always together and a palm tree's intertwined. They did so much of that, it was overkill, that now, People are looking at this as like, why weren't they at a time where it makes sense when you're at a restaurant on a casual evening, at a casual dinner, at a casual spot with friends, just happen to get papped, then why aren't you holding hands then? Was it all an act before? Like it raises more questions in terms of making them look worse than it does, even though it's kind of refreshing to see them not holding hands all the time because that was so juvenile and annoying, we were so over it. So if this were just in a professional setting, it would be refreshing. It would be like, finally, maybe they matured in their 40s to not hold hands like teenagers. But instead, it's, it's turned things around on them, which is their own doing like most things. But on to the dress. I don't really prefer this dress in general. I think that the design of it is a little aggressive. It's very high contrast and it's this really chunky print, really wide stripes. These sorts of horizontal stripes in general, but especially ones that are chunky, are tricky for most people to wear. I think that this would look really, really good on somebody with strong vertical lines who is not super wide, somebody with a quite narrow frame, somebody taller perhaps. I think that the curvier, the shorter, the more variation you have to your shape, the harder this is to wear. Also, anytime you're wearing something really high contrast, it is attention grabbing. So I guess that might suit her personality at least. In general, I think it's really a beach dress. Like most people have said, this looks better on a beach. This looks better at a barbecue or something like that. But overall, I still just, I really don't love it. Now, it's clear that she wasn't necessarily wearing any sort of like shapewear. I still think, even though you can't see it real good, that she was probably wearing a bad bra under there. But that doesn't really matter because she was in a casual setting. So we're going to just give those things a pass because if we're out to a re relatively average priced dinner, then it doesn't matter you wouldn't wear those all those things either to a normal dinner. And yes, the prices might seem a little high to some, but for the area, that would be considered a more affordable dinner place. May I politely suggest these alternatives? Why not something with some diagonal lines or something with a less aggressive print? You know, avoiding gathering at the waist, maybe something that has at least one shoulder instead of something strapless, Maybe something that's just sleeveless would have been a better choice. Definitely less chunky of a print. Definitely no horizontal lines or just fewer of them because they were not hitting her in the right places. They really weren't. If it was inverted and it went in the other pattern, in an opposite pattern, it would have been a little bit better, but still like, you know, what would have been perfect is if these things were going at a diagonal 
that would have been perfect for her body type and if it had one shoulder like that would have really gone with the flow but i found these alternatives same color scheme and similar price point any of these would have been a better option in my opinion than what she chose to wear it was just not an appealing dress it didn't do her figure any favors. The most grating of it is that she clearly called the paparazzi. This couple who complains all the time about these things and then goes and calls the paparazzi. On the note that some people think they were getting in separate cars, maybe, because if this is the same night that she went and saw Barbie and Harry decided not to go see Barbie, then it would make sense they were getting in separate cars. I think TMZ reported that this was the same night but if it wasn't then I mean maybe these pictures were just taken before Harry got in the front seat or something who knows either way there's clearly not the same sorts of vibes or approaches happening this new PR firm is trying to shake it up a little bit and I just don't think it's going to be enough I don't think it's going to work what do you guys think about this outfit? So another thing we see happening here is these magazines and these um, news publications or articles that come out about these pap shots or anything really will have a section where a supposed fashion editor or just somebody at a desk whose job is to do this will leave this sort of a glowing little excerpt about whatever the celebrity or the person in question is wearing and then they give you some suggestions or tell you where to buy it. Now, the publications do this because they earn commission off of the clicks. So anybody who clicks that and goes and shops at that store, the company, so in this case, it's the Daily Mail, they will get commission off of that. They make a little bit of cash off of that. And so they're going to say that the outfits are spectacular no matter what, because they're trying to stir up a bit of revenue for themselves. It, it doesn't mean that the outfit was actually great. So in this case, it reads, Meghan Markle caught celebrating her birthday in California proves she's just like everyone else. That is, the Duchess is rocking her best summer dresses. Is that her best summer dress? Oh. We're talking about the black and white, wide-striped, strapless number. That alone is like a red flag when it comes to an article of clothing for most people. She wore for the occasion and we just have to get our hands on it. Oh, please don't. We love this frock. I'm not sure you have to get your hands on it. I don't think that that's necessarily a good approach. It's affordable compared to the countless designer numbers we've seen out there throughout the season. Megan's wearing Posse's Theo striped jersey strapless maxi dress. Click the image to pre-order and make it yours, but be quick. Already, delivery dates are October and beyond. Or head to our carousel to pick up striped numbers. All styles and budgets covered. See, that sounds like a commercial right there. Be quick. And also, the delivery dates are October and beyond. So how is that going to be helpful to people who are wanting a summer dress unless you live on the southern half of the hemisphere? I'm just saying. Just because an article is saying that it looks great, A, doesn't mean the person knows what they're talking about, but B, and most importantly, for them, it's a means to an end to get some more revenue because they get commission off of all of this. So they likely aren't going to be being thoroughly objective. That's why Joan Rivers was great. She wasn't trying to get any commission. She was just telling you what it actually looks like and making it funny at the same time. Okay, we might as well also cover what she wore for the weird commercial. Now, I do have a video discussing the, the actual commercial itself. But the outfit itself that she wore for this like commercial or promo for the charity is kind of an okay choice for the setting. It was muted, it was really plain. The only focal point on the garment was the neck. Um, I don't love this color on her. I really wish she would stop choosing these tonal beige sort of colors all the time. I think that Maybe she's sort of stuck in that vibe from a few years ago when Kim Kardashian was like only wearing shades of like nudes and beiges because that was like, that's the wealthy color. That's what wealthy people are wearing is like browns and beiges and tans and creams and taupe. And I think maybe Meghan Markle is taking that approach lately because that's like all she's been wearing or maybe that's just what she had. I don't know. Maybe she really loves wearing those colors, but she complained about wearing those colors before, so it's confusing. I just wish she would stop wearing the same color so frequently, but anyway. The only focal net point was that turtleneck. I do think 
it would have been a better approach if it was like a mock neck, maybe a notch collar or some sort of asymmetrical cutout here would have been nice with a simpler collar. I don't think that the big turtlenecks are necessarily the most flattering on her, her. However, they're not the worst thing I've ever seen. I do like where it hit on her shoulders. I think that the angle that she was at compared to the camera was good for her frame. So she looked quite nice in terms of her actual positioning, her pose, and the outfit itself was not like horrible. I just would have chose something with maybe a slightly different situation up here. Just if it were my personal choice, that's what I would choose for her. Something just with a slightly different arrangement up here. I think that using something that was so muted and, and simple and have the focal, the only focal point being the neckline area being the collar did bring the eye straight to her face and keep it there which was smart from the point of view of like directing that bit of video and make no mistake the whole thing was directed it was not just a spur of the moment thing so that did keep the attention where it was meant to be which was on their faces which think about that the attention was meant to be on harry and megan's face that says it all that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for being here with me. Please do subscribe if you enjoy these videos and would like to support the channel. Click the like button if you enjoyed today's video as well. I will see you in the next one. I hope you have a happy day. Bye!